the Thermoscientific Omnic software is the software that controls the FTIR and Raman products we offer. It is a full featured package that contains a variety of functions and processes to collect, view, manipulate and analyze spectral data from these products. Omnic should be thought of as a tool chest that contains all the tools needed to work with spectral data. Some tools will be used regularly, while others only in specific analytical situations. Becoming familiar with the tools available and how they can be applied to reach the desired goal of the analysis is the first step. In this tutorial, we will introduce the viewer to the basic layout and use of the Omnic software. Other tutorials will delve into the understanding and use of the various features available to the analyst in solving their analytical challenges. Looking at the main display in Omnic, at the top are various menus, similar to those in other software programs. The first two menus in the upper left corner, the File and Edit menus, contain similar commands found in most software. At the opposite end, the Window and Help menus also have similar commands to those found in other programs. The menus unique to Omnic fall in between. All installations of Omnic software contain a core group of tools that appear on the Collect, View, Process, Analyze, and Report menus. Additional menus become available with additional hardware configured to the spectrometer. The Raman, Series, Atlas, Wafer, Array, and SST menus work with specific additions that address unique analysis approaches. In looking at the core group, these are arranged in the order of a typical experiment. The Collect menu contains commands that access the parameters needed to collect a spectrum and the commands needed to initiate data collection. The View menu has commands that adjust the display of the data after collection. The Process menu then contains the functions that convert, combine, and correct spectral data, preparing it for analysis. The Analyze menu is where the commands needed to extract information from the spectral data can be found. Lastly, the Report menu contains commands that allow for the formatted reporting and archiving of analysis results. Keeping this flow in mind while working with the Omnic software will help you remember where to locate the various tools. Directly below the menus is the Experiment bar. This is a convenient place to recall complete experiment parameters that have been previously created and saved. Spectral resolution, data collection time, beam path configuration, and all other parameters that are needed to collect the spectrum are contained in experiment files. These are useful in standardized analyses to assure consistent and comparable results. Creating experiment files will be covered in the experiment file tutorial. The region below the experiment bar contains a collection of icons. This is the icon toolbar. Each icon displayed is a shortcut to a command on one of the menus. The icon toolbar can be customized to add, change, or delete commands displayed to make the Omnic software more useful for each experiment performed. Populating the icon toolbar with frequently used commands allow for more efficient use of the software, speeding up the analysis. Customizing the icon toolbar will be covered in the configuration tutorial. Below the icon toolbar is the title region. The active spectrum displayed in the main spectral window below will have its title displayed in this region. This is the title bar. The spectrum title can be edited on this bar, making the needed descriptive changes. Two buttons to the left of the title, labeled I and R, will bring up windows related to the active spectrum. The I button opens up the Spectrum Information screen. This contains all the settings that were used to collect the spectrum. The Title field at the top can also be used to change the spectrum title, while the Comments and Custom Info fields can be used to enter additional information about the spectrum. The scrolling region at the lower portion of this screen contains all the parameter settings that were used to collect the spectrum. This portion of the information cannot be changed by typing and can only be copied. 
Any changes done to the spectrum will update the information at the bottom of this list in the data processing section. The R button opens the spectral results screen. Any process applied to the spectrum that extracts information will add the information to this display. Fine peaks and spectral search results are examples of the type of information recorded here. The major portion of the display is where the spectral data is shown. Multiple spectra can be displayed in this part of the software. Each spectrum will be shown in one of eight colors. When a spectrum is selected by clicking on it with a cursor, its color will change to red. This becomes the active spectrum. The previous active spectrum will return to its default color. The X and Y axes will be labeled for the active spectrum, and in this example, the X axis is labeled in wave number units, and the Y axis is labeled in absorbance units. The cursor in default mode can be used to zoom into different portions of the display by dragging a rectangle and then clicking in it. Multiple spectra can be selected by clicking on them while holding the control key. This will be required for some of the functions available, like spectral subtraction. The number of spectrum in the window is limited only by the available memory in the computer. Multiple windows, each containing multiple spectrum, can be created on the window menu. Similarly, the number of spectral windows open is also dependent upon available computer memory. Below the main display is the numeric information bar. What is displayed here will depend on the current mode of the cursor, which is controlled from the six round buttons seen below to the left. These are the cursor tools and are covered in the cursor tool tutorial. To the right of the cursor tools is the radar display. The complete spectrum will always be displayed here, independent of the portion being displayed above. The highlighted portion of this display shows the relative location of the upper display to the complete spectrum. The arrows on both sides of the radar display can be used to cause the main display to be modified, zooming both axes or shifting the region displayed to the left or right. Additionally, the vertical black bars on either side of the highlighted region can be dragged left or right to change the spectral range displayed above. By dragging from the center of the highlighted region, it can be shifted left or right while maintaining the same spectral range. Double clicking in the highlighted portion will cause the main display to expand back to full range of the spectrum. This is essentially the unzoom function. For additional information, please view the tutorials that address the use of various tools available in the Omnic software.